Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 19th. Happy Tuesday. It was great seeing all of you yesterday for the Zoom meeting um, as we went through all of the things that we have scheduled for the week in relation to projects that are due and assessments coming up. I provided clarification, especially related to the projects, and you were able to get any questions you may initially have answered. So let's practice. For your morning work, you're working on simple solutions. You're working on lesson number 136 in preparation for Friday's quiz. That'll be your final simple solutions quiz. So if there are any confusing to you, definitely get in touch. From there, science, you have an edpuzzle.com assignment. It is for plate tectonics. That is our next um, subject or topic with the Nancy Larson series after chemical reactions. So earth movements, that's where we would be going anyway. So we'll be going there virtually through the edpuzzle.com video. And I think you'll find it interesting. They use food products to demonstrate the concept of plate tectonics. From there, religion, we spoke at length about the zeal project, about the options that you have, about the rubric that exists, and any details that go along with that project. So it's supposed to be another kind of dreary day today, perhaps, so you might be able to make some headway on your zeal project if you choose, and remembering all the time that your due date for that project is Friday. In reading, students have a journal topic, and if you need it, and that is what is your pet peeve, and explain. And if you're not sure what a pet peeve is, I um, outlined that in the plan, so about exactly what that means to have a pet peeve. For your PDF, for the fan Phantom Toll Booth, you have two more chapters, 17 and 18, so nearing the finish line with those. And also you do have your end of novel project related to the character poster. That too is due on Friday. So again, if it's supposed to be a rainy afternoon, it might be good to get some of that accomplished so you don't have it all just kind of hanging over your head for Friday. Also reading students, we did talk about the fact that there is an assessment over the novel on Thursday. So just keep doing the great job you're doing and it'll be good. Um, math students, we are working on an edpuzzle.com. It's called Comparing Decimals and it has the same format as yesterday's math assignment. And we're doing all of this as a review to make sure that we are ready for Thursday's assessment in math as well. And then finally, ELA, we have our final group of Latin and Greek roots. So check out the 59 second Latin and Greek root video on edpuzzle.com week four. And um, kind of, I think you'll find the uh, the foundations of those Latin and Greek roots to be an interesting one this week. We do have two PDFs as well, and it'd be a really great idea since we have the Latin and Greek roots quiz on Friday, it'd be a great idea to get those note cards going. So you have this one, there's a PDF that was sent to your families, and you have this one called Snap, Crackle, and Pop. So I hope the forecast is wrong and I hope that we do have a sunshiny bright day, but if it isn't turning out the way that we thought, then it might be nice just to kind of hunker down and get some good practice going and some studying as well. Last week, so we can do this. Persevere. You guys are awesome. Have a great Tuesday.